Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Councilman Kurt Kroskoff and remain standing for the invocation led by Pastor Rod Carell. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. ask your blessings, Lord, tonight on our council and the leaders of our city, those that take care of our city, God, we ask that you would bless them and keep your hand of protection upon them. Lord, for the business of hand tonight, Father, guide and direct it by your spirit and give you the praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <coughs> Roll call. <coughs> Here. Present. Here. 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 All present. <coughs> I move we suspend the rules and dispense with the second. second has been moved by Councilman Crosscoff, second by Councilman Goff to suspend the rules and reading and correcting of the journal. All in favor signify by saying hi. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Communication? Tell us what you got. Well, in December, um, 239 people used our center and they were able to return 347. 45 back to the city of Peru to sum it up for the year 212 2,653 people used the center and they re returned back to the city three thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars and thirty eight cents and 211 3,417 people used the center and they was able to return four thousand two hundred and thirty nine dollars and seventy nine cents back about all I have. Okay, thank you. Mr. Bill Gornto. <coughs> Last month the uh, Building and Zone Department did the following commercial new rehab permits two, roofing permit commercial one, building complaints three, zoning complaints eight, uh, meetings with the Building Department two, meetings with zoning 12, uh, three electrical residential permits and one residential new rehab permit. Very good. Wait a president pro tem for 2013. I will uh, entertain a <laughs> nomination for that position. I move Kurt Crosscuff be our chairman. I, I paid, thought I paid you enough. Huh? <laughs> thought I paid you enough. No. <laughs> okay. I move nominations be closed. Oh. Second. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Trains left draft. the station now. <laughs> Comes the train. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Abstention? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Vice President Pro Tem. Uh, Phyllis is currently the vice president. Do I have? Uh, I'll entertain. Uh, I nominate Phyllis to remain in that position. I second it. It's been moved and seconded uh, for Phyllis. Do I have any other additional nominations? I move the nominations be closed. Do I have a second for that? Second. Okay. All those in favor of uh, Phyllis as the uh, vice president pro tem, do you signify by saying aye? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. <coughs> okay, uh, the rest of the uh, um, liaison and committee members are before you. Does anybody have any desire to uh, uh, change the uh, committees that they're monitoring or um, wish to be added to any particular ones? <coughs> Everybody's happy where they are? Mm -hmm. Okay, we will um, we will uh, leave the appointments for 2013 as they were for 2012. Need a motion? Sure, let's go with a motion. I make a motion to uh, keep the appointments the same as they were in 2012. Second. It's been moved and seconded to leave the uh, Common Council appointments the same for 2013. It's been any discussion? All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? There you go. We have uh, before you two letters for um, um, 
City of Peru Plan Commission board members. And currently, uh, Jeff Plotho and uh, Dennis C. are um, serving on that board, and they have both sent uh, uh, notes in um, saying that they would like to be reappointed. Can we uh, uh, put them both in at the same time? Uh, we sure could. I move that we accept both of those fellows to be reappointed to this commission. Do I have a second? I'll second it. I'll second that. Okay. I uh, serve on that land commission as council person, and I think they do a very good job. <clears throat> they work hard at it. Sometimes it takes longer than we think, but it, it works out generally. Okay. Uh, I have no further letters for anybody expressing a, a uh, desire to serve on that committee. So um, all's in favor of Mr. Plotho and Mr. C. Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you. And let's see then. What else do we have? Cable TV. Cable TV. Cable TV. The um, current two uh, uh, city members serving on that uh, committee are Mr. Glenn Russell and Mr. Dave Moon. And um, we can reappoint them. Do I, is there anybody else that would uh, like to be considered as a, I mean, we, we're, we're already on the committee. As I think we need to reappoint those, those guys because they've really done a great job and we need to stick with what we've got that's working. Okay. Second. Second. Been moved and seconded to reappoint Dave Moon and Glenn Russell to the cable TV committee. Any discussion? All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Very good. Appointments are complete for 2013. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, next item under new business will be resolution number one, 2013. Move we adopt resolution number one, 2013. Second. Has been moved by Councilman Crosscoff, second by Councilman Goff to adopt resolution one, 2013. Questions? Mr. Merriman. A uh, rare, a rarity here, a decrease? Not a rarity, I think. Well, I mean, this is a, <laughs> well, <laughs> something that people will like. I Listen hope it's... <laughs> two rate classes went down, residential and uh, uh, power service general service. Uh, the power service demand rate went up slightly. Uh, municipal street lighting and traffic lighting went up slightly as well. But on average, if you take across all the rate classes, uh, it, uh, they went down collectively by about two-tenths of a cent per kilowatt hour. So, Excellent. This is just our normal quarterly housekeeping yep. for utilities. Anybody have any questions for Mr. Merriman? Hmm. Yeah. Any questions from the audience? Roll call. Allie? Yes. Golf? Yes. Clear. Yes. 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 Golf? Yes. Golf? yes. 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 And motion carries. Uh, next item is ordinance number one, 2013. <coughs> I move we consider ordinance number one, 2013. Second. Has been moved by Councilman Crosscross, second by Councilman Greer to consider ordinance <coughs> number one, 2013. Roll call. Allie. Yes. Paul. Yes. 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 <laughs> Move we adopt ordinance number one, 2013. Second. <laughs> been moved by Councilman Crosscross, second by <coughs> Councilman Gustin to adopt ordinance number one, 2013. Questions? Um, <coughs> yes, Phil. I went over a few of these numbers in the districts, and uh, Councilman uh, Gabe down there has the largest district, which is, uh, I believe, number one. Yes. And then uh, he had a thousand. 713 and uh, my district was down on line it was number three between those two there's 597 difference and that was the biggest difference in all the largest districts in all of our uh, largest count in all of our districts some of them had as little as 93 some 123 
and uh, Councilman Terry up there in the 5th District, he had 1,272, and it was about 441 difference between your district and Gabe's. So I thought they were pretty strong, the kind of the way they are. I, I don't feel like they need changed. I don't know how anybody else does. I know if you look at the map, they seem pretty straightforward. There's no right. weird yeah. places sticking out. It's Wasn't gerrymandered, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's one of the things when you look at what is required, they say you have to keep in as close as possible, well, yeah. but out getting everything has to be contiguous, so you can't jump across something to say we're going to balance them completely. They got to be contiguous. <clears throat> and like what Phyllis mentioned in her district, it takes in all of the Oakdale area. You know, and it's from the tracks uh, clear out to 24 in that area. Um, everybody knows where the Oakdale area is. So the dividing lines between the districts are fine. If you look in the downtown area with your district, Cheryl, with your district, you got that Broadway dividing line, one's east, one west. So anybody who lives in there knows what their district's going to be. If we start making changes, then we got to change a lot of things at the courthouse. We got to, you know, spend some money to say, well, you know, if we're going to do this, we got to, you know, make up new maps and we got to do all these other things. Is the gap between the highest and the lowest a concern enough to make those changes? Or is making sure that the districts stay convenient for the voters just as important? And to that, the only thing on my district ever changed but actually make it bigger, which mine's already the biggest, so mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to, it's like on 8th Street, half of the street is the 8th District and the other half of the street yeah. is another district, or another precinct. So um, that's the only street that's divided, really. Mm -hmm. But it does, the way it's set up uh, does, uh, it's easy for you to tell any voter where their district is and who your district person is because there was a time when I know part of District 5 was across the river and had part of East Canal, part of West Canal and it was, it didn't last very long because people were confused and they were still going to their old polling places and all that and you sure don't want to lose voters, you want to increase voters, you want people to get out and vote and make it as convenient to them as we possibly can. So um, yeah, that is what we thought too that the numbers we're not that far out of balance that we'd have to go in and do any changes to that effect. And uh, so what it says is uh, on this ordinance, for those of you in the audience, it just says that all five council districts will remain the same. And that will be that the council will be represented by these five council districts and two at-large representatives. That's how you get the seven. And the, the balance between these are, are fairly consistent. But the boundaries of what they represent makes more sense to to those who uh, reside there. Anyone have any questions on it or want more information about these districts? Okay. Any questions from the council? Yes. 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 Motion carries. If anyone sitting out there would like to see how these districts they're color coded. Now I'm not an artist that will make fun of the color coding, but um, it is color coded here. You can see how the districts are laid out and why the way it's uh, being presented is the best to, to serve the people. Um, anybody have any other questions? Anything? Yeah, I, uh, question on, on ordinance number one, 2013. In the very last line, it says 2012. Okay, you have to fix that. Uh, okay, saw that. You're welcome. Uh, we need to, um, we had at the last meeting, we tabled uh, the the utilities. Cost needed, of service we had a We had a committee of three that we were going to get together. It was you and me and Steve, is that right? Yep. Okay. We probably need to do that, um, at least in my case, sooner than later, because I'm going to get real busy here pretty soon. Um, what's Thursday look like for you two? This Thursday? Uh huh. I uh, know we have another committee meeting. That's this Thursday, right? Yeah, it's uh, 11 30. Yeah. Well, this would be after work. So. Okay. Um, Thursday, I'm, uh, I'm out of town. Okay, that's not a good day. Um, do 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 do
do we just need the three up there? Do we need? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna be there? Are you you gonna, want me to be there? I can be there. I yeah, mean, I think that would be a, a, a prudent thing. Be you know thing. The committee's recommendation that, you know, that a, comes back to the council. But. A prudent thing, um, Steve. When when are you available? This week. Well, uh, let's see. I've got. Uh, I'll be out of town tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday is aviation board next week maybe um next week uh, not on not on tuesday but um uh, any other day probably wednesday yeah Maybe wednesday at uh, five Mm -hmm. At five o'clock. Wednesday, the sixteenth. Let me look here. Is that all right with you? Sixteenth, <coughs> five, five o'clock. When's Wednesday? Yeah, when, when's the, 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 the utility board meetings this week, isn't it? No, yeah, so I'll be all right. So it's early. So Wednesday at, at five o'clock here. Wednesday the sixteenth, right? Cur um. Yeah. Okay. 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 What time do you say five? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, do you have anything else to come before the council? If not, a motion to adjourn would be in order. So moved. Second. And moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 We're out. <laughs>